Hi everybody, this is Jerome, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about normals. Um, what they are, what they mean to our Second Life Sculpties, and some problems that can occur, and an easy way to fix them. So let's get right into it. I have here a medieval wall torch. It's made out of two prims, the wooden torch, and a metal wall bracket. The problem that I experienced with normals on this project is in the metal bracket. So let's isolate the bracket in local view. In object mode, select the object, then click view, then click local view. You can also use the shortcut, which is numpad forward slash. This will put the object in its own view without any of the clutter from the other objects in the scene. Now I've already given both objects their own materials, and that is why the, the it's so dark at the moment. Let's lighten that back up to the default gray color now. Now the problem I have with this object is that while I was making it, I accidentally inverted the normals on the front part. This is not currently visible because of the way the Blender displays objects. If we disable the double-sided option, we can see a drastic change in the color and shading of the object. This black shading on the front indicates that the normals of these faces are pointing inward, and not out the way that I would prefer. So how did this happen? Well. Let's take a default Sculpty Cylinder. We're going to go Add, Mesh, Sculpty Mesh, and then pick Cylinder, and then use the default settings of 8x8 eight eight with Subsurf 2. We'll hit G to grab, and Y to lock to the Y axis, and then move it over slightly. Now basically, while I was making the shape that I wanted, I picked one edge loop near the top, scaled it up a bit, and then pulled it over the rest, and this resulted in the inner normals facing outward. So why is this a problem? For Blender, this isn't a problem. Blender is perfectly happy drawing two sides for a face, the front and the back for each face. However, Second Life can't do this. Second Life can only draw the front side of a face, and the back is left invisible. The front side of the face can be textured, colored, and can even alter the alpha to make, a tr make it transparent if you want it to. But the back side of the face will always be invisible. The only exception is if you click Invert in the Build window inside SL. But back to my Sculpty, I have half the faces inside out, and in SL it will appear partially invisible, not the effect I was hoping for. So what is a normal? A normal is the direction a face is pointing. This generally means that the front of the face is pointing in one direction, and the back is pointing in the opposite. There's another way to indicate the direction of the normals faces in Blender. In edit mode, press F9 to get the editing buttons at the bottom of the screen, and slide with the middle mouse button all the way to the right. In this tab at the end called Mesh Tools More, click Draw Normals. You should see these little blue lines in the 3D window. These blue lines indicate the front side of the faces. Again, every face has a front and a back. In Second Life, only the fronts are visible, the backs are transparent. Okay, so we've identified inverted normals, and what normals mean to our Sculpty, so how do we fix them if they get inverted? Now if we go back to Vertex Select Mode, with Control Tab and then Select Vertices, uh, we now select just the part of our Sculpty that needs to be flipped. Alt-right-click on an edge loop, then press Control plus sign on the numpad a few times to select more so we have the whole area that's been inverted. Now click Mesh Normals Recalculate Normals to the outside or you could press Control N as a shortcut. Now this appears to have fixed everything. Unfortunately this is only a temporary fix. If we bake out the scope map by clicking Render, Bake Sculpties, and Bake with the default settings and we now import this back into Blender or upload into Second Life. We still have an inversion, and this is because the scripts are required to select the object as a whole and recalculate the normals based on all of the geometry, not just the area that we wish to fix. This results in the inversion reappearing because the geometry and the topology, meaning the flow of edges, vertices, and faces, is still causing an inversion. To really fix these normals, we need to either redo the mesh or invert the part of the Sculpty map that needs to be fixed. For my shape, redoing the geometry wouldn't be difficult. 
just grab these top edges along the z-axis, pull them down, and then rotate and reposition. But let's say you have a larger object, maybe it's oblong, and a few faces near the center are inverted. You'd end up having to tear apart the whole shape, possibly twist some of the edge loops, and spend a lot of time trying to fix it up. Inverting the sculpt map is probably going to be faster and easier. First, start by selecting the area that's inverted. Over on the right hand side in the image editor, you can see those faces, and you can also see the other faces, the areas that don't need inverting, are not selectable. In the image editor, press A and select the selectable grid. We are going to invert this on an axis, but which one? The image editor is two-dimensional, so it only has an x-axis to represent the left and right, and a y-axis that represents up and down. If we look at the grid we have selected, you should notice that it covers the length of one axis, but only a portion of the other. In my case, it stretches from top to bottom, which means the y-axis. So I'll invert the y-axis and leave the x-axis alone. I'll do this by scaling. Press S to scale, Y to lock to the y-axis, the minus key to indicate negative, and the number 1, and press Enter to confirm. This takes the selected part of the Sculpty UV texture and flips it on the y-axis only. All we have to do now is bake the image again. Click Render, Bake Sculpties, Bake, and with the default settings. Watch what happens in the UV image editor when I hit bake. The section that we flipped is now baked upside down, yet from left to right it is the same. This inverts the faces without flipping the geometry. Since my shape is symmetrical, I don't need to do any rotation to fix any kind of alignment errors. The only consequence of this flip is an edge loop at the end of the area that we flipped will appear to have collapsed. For my shape, this isn't a problem. The inside will be completely hidden by the torch. If you have this in a more visible area, you can try adjusting the nearby edge loops to cover up the deformation. So that's basically it. A simple fix to invert normals and hopefully save you a lot of time rebuilding your sculpties. Good luck.